a lot of high energy uh, this week so far, and uh, pretty excited that it's fairly close to. I know I've been to some regionals that are we had to fly to, so it's nice to just hop on a bus and travel to Sioux Falls. So, and I think we should get a, should get a good fair amount of following for St. Cloud, uh, which is always nice to have too. But the team team's ready. Uh, we've been working this for all year. Uh, I mean, it's this is time to shine, time to display our talents, and uh, just go out there and have fun. Always, you never know when it comes to tournament plays like this who's going to do the best or who's going to be the best in those two days. And uh, we're going to treat this like a national championship or a tournament because it basically is. Because uh, if you don't qualify, then you're not you're not going on to nationals. So uh, we're gonna, we're going to try or compete our best to win this. I know. It'll be some tough competition. I know Maryville should be pretty tough, and then uh, Lindenwood and things, teams like that that we haven't really seen in the dual teams or the dual meets. So, but yeah, it's uh, <clears throat> it's gonna be a fun tournament. It's gonna be a nice, uh, nice preparation for the nationals. Quite, quite a fun four or five years. Uh, definitely learned a lot. It grew a lot, not only in wrestling but as a as a man myself, and uh, I grew a lot with my spirituality too, a meeting with John Peterson, which I wouldn't have had the opportunity without wrestling here at St. Cloud State. Uh, it's kind of, I don't, uh, haven't really hit me yet that it'll be done here in a couple of weeks. I've uh, just been so focused on uh, regionals and nationals, mm -hmm. but it'll, uh, it's going to be, it's going to be bittersweet, I think, to uh, end my career here at St. Cloud State, but i uh, just planning to go out with uh, no regrets and wrestle every match. Like, it could be my last one. Cause...